Hi, everybody. So some of you may know that I've been doing what I've called my roadmap to success publicly. And it is not to say that I have already attained what I consider to be success and now I'm telling you how to be successful. It is really an invitation to you to join me on a journey to reach your success. Assuming that even if we have different definitions of what success is, that there are certain characteristics and traits that anybody who's trying to, re to attain success needs to have. So what I've been doing is almost on a weekly basis, I have been putting something out that gives like a little bit of a nugget, if you will, of what I am doing to work towards attaining the success that I like to have. And I offer that to you in hopes that maybe it helps you as well. You can give me your feedback and even share some of your nuggets. And as I've stated for in my first video, sometimes it's what I've come up with on my own. Other times it's from what I've heard other people who are successful say. Um, it's something I've read, seen. I mean, it could come from tons of different places. So this is not just all Carrie's thoughts. So today, what has been hanging on me very, very strongly, actually for a while, but today I'm deciding to do it, which is another roadmap to success nugget, is just execute. I have been toying with this idea called flowers you can smell for a while now. Um, for months and many of you who go to funerals unfortunately you may hear people talk about giving people flowers while they're alive to enjoy them in other words telling them instead of telling telling them all of the special things and nice things about them when they're dead and can't hear it at their funeral you need to start telling people these things while they're alive and for me Social media has been a really big way to communicate, even with the people that I that I know and love, unfortunately, but fortunately. So I want to start what's called Flowers You Can Smell Fridays. And it's something that I'm going to do. So regardless of if no one else does a hashtag Flowers You Can Smell, you guys are going to see me do a Flowers You Can Smell video every Friday, God willing. And so the purpose to me is to identify anybody. And it can be because somebody was weighing heavily on my heart. I saw them in my thread. I mean, I don't, it, whatever the reason is that a person comes to my mind, I'm just going to go for it. And I'm going to put something out there about that person, offering them flowers that they can smell on, you know, not why they bring value to me, but what resonates with me about them you know what what's special to me about them and um hopefully they can appreciate it and maybe it will encourage them or whatever so if you're down for it then you do it too and you don't necessarily have to do it with a person that you know um very well it could be a facebook friend a colleague it could be a perfect stranger like today i'm gonna do my friend because she was weighing on my heart but next week it might be somebody that i don't even really know that well who knows i don't know at the end of the day we're all people and i love people so all of that out the way they won't the videos won't be this long next time so uh, if you're still watching thank you um so today's flowers you can smell delivery is to my dear friend Keisha Harris Watson um I love you and I think that you're an amazing person and one of the things that resonates very very strongly for me about you Keisha is you are so faithful to God and you do not quit um I know that Keisha would probably not be upset with me letting you all know that she, I would say she suffers from lupus, but I honestly have to say lupus suffers from Keisha. I've never seen someone who has so many different things that can be thrown at them to throw them off track, and she just won't get off track. She is dedicated. She's a loving mother of three kids. She is a wife now. She is a dancer at her church. She works. 
I don't know how many jobs this girl works because she's always doing something. She's a homeowner. She's a college graduate. She loves God and she loves people. And I'm just always in awe by how she just keeps moving. We don't get to speak all the time, but I watch what she's doing. And I always, whenever I'm having a bad day or whenever I want to complain, I really sit back and Keisha is one of the people I reflect on. And I say, oh my gosh, like... She's handled so much more than me, and she will do it with a smile on her face. And she will break her back for somebody. She's very selfless, and she loves to help people. So, Keisha, I want to give you flowers that you can smell, and I hope that you enjoy your day. Guys, have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.